What's up, everyone? Welcome back to BKNY Hoops. If you're new to the channel, I am your host, as always, Rashid White. All right, let's get into it over here. Now, with the performance of Cam Thomas, should he actually start? And should Cam Johnson actually come off the bench now? Now, we actually see the Brooklyn Nets is actually really kind of need of a scoring punch. We're going to go over... Cam Thomas's game yesterday. It was a fantastic game. I think he had 26 points in like, I think it was like 17 something minutes over here, which is really outstanding. There was some actual areas of improvement in terms of the offense. I mean, everything I talked about in previous videos of, of not over dribbling, you know, trying to do everything within two to three dribbles, trying to keep the defense off balance. Now, the only part was the defensive end, which a lot of people don't think is really that big of a deal, but it is a big deal, you know, because you can't can't let Tory and Prince, even in a preseason game, go off the way he actually went off. I mean, the previous game against Golden State, he had when well, he was zero points. All right, so we can't let Tory and Prince and other players, and especially former other like Nets players, actually come into the and they wasn't playing at home but just coming to like, like playing against us and actually really embarrassing us like that because Tory and Prince man so one of the things with Cam Thomas is like actually closing out on Tory and Prince he should actually read the scouting report that's his responsibility not the coach's responsibility you know to actually know who like let's say uh which shooters are hot which shooters are cold shooters you know so uh, let you know, Torian Prince is really kind of an inconsistent three-point shooter. So let him make a couple of threes. And then Cam Thomas actually closes out to him and lets him go by, you know, uh, by him with his right hand. Instead of, let's say, if you are going to do an aggressive closeout like that, um, definitely gets, you know, force him, force him left. And I see a lot of NBA players, like, just letting players go to their strong hand. If they're right-handed, force them left. All right, so let's look at um, uh, Cam Thomas over here, and let's see what he actually did. 26 points, four threes. See, in that previous possession right there, Cam Thomas could have actually put the ball on the floor. And just went by Torian Prince and then like maybe one, two dribble pull-ups. That was a really, really tough three-pointer right there. All right, so that's what you want to actually see. You want to see the playmaking right there. And him uh, able to actually really make good reads. You know, not just thinking about scoring. Because remember, man, you need like not everybody on the Brooklyn Nets is Cam Thomas. All right, so Nick Claxton is not Cam. You 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 know, in order for Nick Claxton to actually score, uh, Cam actually has to put this man in, 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 in a really really good position, either by lobs and yeah, he threw a lob to, he tried to throw a lob to <laughs> Nick Claxton. I mean, it was way off. I mean, that's another thing he has to work on. So just like playmaking, and then remember, nobody actually wants to play with a ball hog. Okay, you know, if you don't, if got other guys don't get touches they're not going to go and play defense. I don't care what level of basketball you actually play. It could be in the streets, tournaments, a church league, um, college, overseas. <laughs> it don't matter. Nobody actually wants to play with a ball hog. All right, so let's finish this up. All right, so exactly in three to four dribbles, you know, maybe even five, because you have to remember there's a shot clock going against you, and uh, the shot clock is not your friend, it's your enemy. So he has to be really cognizant of that, and especially like let's say early in the shot clock. Now, I think that previous possession was like, I think it's eight, nine seconds on the shot clock. But when you have 18 seconds on a shot clock, you really want to kind of work the ball, move the ball. Um, and the ball actually moves faster than what like any player can actually move. I don't care how fast they are. So you actually definitely want to keep that defense off balance.
Nice pass. That's what we want to see from, this is perfect. If he can actually do this, I, I mean, I'm hoping Jacques Vaughn can actually put him in a starting lineup because they do need the offensive punch right there. All right. So that was, a, that was a decent shot. I mean, if it was like the defender was actually coming to actually contest harder than that or play harder defense, I would say for Cam to actually uh, uh, pass that basketball over there. But, you know, it wasn't really hard defense right there. There you go. Like I said, no more than four dribbles. All right, so yeah, if you have Austin Reeves actually guarding you, you definitely, now I would say no more than four dribbles, <laughs> but when you have like Austin Reeves actually playing defense against you, man, listen, forget everything else. Throw the playbook out of the window, man. Go at him. Go at him. He's a weak, weak, weak defender. So definitely, man, whatever plays you have, <laughs> you know, throw it out the window. And Definitely, and that's another reason Mikhail Bridges looks gassed. I mean, D'Angelo Russell was like kind of locking him up. I'm like, what? D'Lo's actually like really like locking uh, 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 Mikhail up? I mean, he could he was trying to dribble the ball and he couldn't get around D'Angelo Russell, who's a horrible defender. I mean, he has no foot speed whatsoever. And no, like no fast twitch muscles and Mikhail couldn't actually get by him. So that was another thing right there. So, no, all, all mental notes over here. I think the show would be better if I wrote a lot of this stuff down. But, man, I am exhausted right now. Yeah, man. That was a heat check. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, sky's the limit for Cam uh, 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 Cam Thomas over there, man. Now, I don't know if you can actually play Cameron Johnson and Thomas together, but, I mean, I don't know, man. I just think that he gives us so much more offense, and, and it takes a lot of attention, like, let's say, off of Mikhail Bridges, because, you know, Ben Simmons actually has to bring the ball up and you know they're going to double Ben Simmons. So you have like 24 and let's say by the time he brings the ball up the court, it's going to be 19 seconds on the shot clock. They're going to double him. Um, they get the ball in Mikhail Bridges' hands. He's the next guy that you want to kind of run your offense through. And they're going to try to get the ball out of his hands. And then you're talking about either Cam Johnson, um, Dorian Finney-Smith for Nick Claxton to actually try to go out there and create some offense. So you really, 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 really need Cam Thomas. And I hope Jacques Vaughn is not that stubborn. Yeah, now, it's okay that Cam Thomas didn't really play great defense, but look at the amount of points that he gave you. So as long as he's actually scoring, you can live with, with some of the defensive mistakes that, that uh, Cam Thomas is actually making out there. I can live with that. You know, yeah, Torian Prince was actually going on, going off, but I mean, if Cam Thomas is actually giving me buckets on the other end, he's taking really good shots, and he's actually making plays for the other team. But I'm, I'm sorry for for the other teammates. <laughs> I'm bugging out. And um, I mean, yeah, I think that Cam Thomas has a bright, bright future with the Brooklyn Nets, and it will be a definite a, a steal for um, Sean Marks over there. Come on, man. Now, make those other general managers actually look bad for passing up on Cam Thomas. All right, so um, I'll definitely wrap this video up. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. 
And when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.